welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Sarah, I'm the Nail Nerd, and I love to share my love of nail art with you guys by bringing you a brand new nail art tutorial every single week. They range from beginners through to advanced, so I try and have something for everybody. And if you are new around here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of our weekly art classes. So let's talk 3D nail art. Do you love it? I do. I absolutely love making nail art 3D. And the product that I use to do that is called 3D Carving Gel. It's like a putty and it's an amazing alternative to acrylic because not only do you have all the time in the world to perfect your design before it sets, um, because it won't set, it won't move, it, does, it doesn't budge until you're ready to pop it into the lab to cure it. Um, but not, not only that, it also doesn't have any of the fumes that are associated with acrylic, which again, is a huge bonus. Because let's be honest, acrylic can be very stinky, especially if you're in a small room. Am I right? So the design that I'm going to be showing you today is how to create realistic looking rope. Okay, it's really versatile, you can do heaps with it. And the thing about this design is it looks like it takes hours to, um, to create it. But in reality, it takes less than five minutes. So if you're ready, let's get creative. We need to begin by applying a translucent nude base to the entire nail surface. If you're using a nail nerd gel polish, please cure it for one minute in between coats in an LED lamp. And try and keep your coats as thin as possible, guys. We don't want to run into any issues with lifting, bubbling, peeling, or you know any of those types of things that tend to happen when you apply your gel polish too thick. It needs to be thin. Now we create a two-toned look, so choose another colour, a darker colour this time, and apply it to the bottom two-thirds of the nail. Okay, we're going to leave the top third of the nail as the nude base, so it's almost going to feel like a negative space effect. Okay, so keep your coats nice and thin, cure for one minute in between as always. And just a tip, to get the line nice and straight, paint slowly and make sure that you haven't overloaded your brush. And we're using our brush very flat, okay? And I'm just pushing the gel up slightly to the point that it makes a straight line. Follow with a thin layer of matte top coat, guys, and cure that for 30 seconds in your LED lamp. While that's curing, guys, grab a form and just regular tap water and just dampen the top of the form, just with a couple of splashes of water. You don't need much, you don't want to drown it, okay? But just a couple of splashes to prevent the gel from sticking. And next up, we're going to get our carving gel and we're just going to scrape out a small amount of carving gel. Right, so roll it in between your fingers. Hopefully you're not like me and you're wearing gloves. You should never handle nail products without gloves, but I can't work in gloves. So do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> With gloved fingers, you're going to start rolling your gel into a long thread. The water prevents it from getting too sticky. If you use isopropyl alcohol, it's gonna get sticky. Okay, you never use isopropyl alcohol until you get to the point where you're trying to stick it onto the nail. So remember guys, regular water. Pick it up using a regular dotting tool. Um, it's easier using a dotting tool because the little round bit at the end stops it from falling off. And just twist it into itself just by twirling the gel in between your finger. Okay, see what happens? It starts turning into a rope effect. And then lay it over the nail in your desired position and wrap it around. Right, this is when we use our isopropyl alcohol, my love, because now we want it to stick. So dampening my brush with isopropyl alcohol, I'm just patting the um, gel, not too hard because I don't want to squash it, but I am patting with a teeny bit of pressure so that it um, starts to adhere to the nail, okay? And to get rid of the excess, you simply just break it away. 
Once you have it in the right spot and you're happy with the placement and it's not um, like it's stuck down properly, it's not moving, then you wanna just chuck that into the lamp for 30 seconds to give it a bit of a cure, okay? Now go ahead and make a second lot of rope. And what we're going to do is we just adhere it, we push it down in the middle of the previous rope and I've got isopropyl alcohol on my brush because I am wanting it to stick. And then you simply wrap it around in like a spiral. Okay, and when you get to the end, using your brush soaked with isopropyl alcohol to make sure that it sticks, you just wrap that around and tuck it under so that you can't see it. And what you end up with is it almost looks like a bird's nest or a knot. Um, yeah, it looks really cool. And then what we do is we just, once again, we just push it down. We make sure that it's, um, it is properly adhered in the middle and come in with a, uh, with a Swarovski, bleh, with a Swarovski crystal and just pop that in the middle before you cure it, okay? This, the gel is going to hold it in. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just slightly pushing it up around the edges so that it, it holds the crystal and it can't fall out. Mm. Right, once you're happy with the placement, lovely, chuck it back into the lamp for one minute this time. We want to make doubly sure that it is actually cured properly. Um, so, and then that's it, you're done. How cute is that? And just as a side note, guys, if you've ever wanted to learn how to create an elegant ribbon bow out of carving gel, then you're going to want to check out this week's Nail Nerd Club lesson. As you know, we have the Nail Nerd Club, which is the only exclusive nail art club in the world that is made especially for you. Well, my love, that is all from me today. I hope you've had as much fun as I have. Thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate every single one of you and the support that you give me. So once again, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. It really helps out my channel. Anyway, that's enough from me today. So I can't wait to see you guys all next week. Stay safe. Bye.